Hello everyone and welcome back to Dead by Daylight. We're here with another episode of Surviving the Fog, which if you're not familiar with the series is just me playing solo queue and uh, passing that along to you for your entertainment. Uh, if you've ever played this game in solo queue, I, I feel like you kind of know how the games can go, so that's I suppose the entertaining bit of it. But uh, yeah, um, we're here playing Hattie, which with her new and improved look, uh, they made her even cooler. So um, we're going to go ahead and just jump on into the games. You know, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. Like the video if you liked it and uh, leave comments below if you want to provide any kind of feedback. But uh, that all said, let's go ahead and jump right on into the games. Here we are, Groaning Storehouse. Right next to a gen. Slinger. Yep, already tagged. All right. Okay, we're gonna mend ourselves. Looks like we got a hex out. Not really sure which one that is. Done. Oh, he's coming back. We make it, we make it, right? Yep. Nice. Alright, let's try to find a totem. It'd be nice to get a, a boon up, help our team. Is there a totem here? There we go. Still don't know which uh, X is up. Somebody else's maybe. Yeah, we got the hex totem down. Perfect. Oh, come on, man. He's really good with his shots. No, no. Oh, 
All right, we got almost another gen done. The other Hattie is working on one as well. Nice. The other Hattie's stopped. Okay, we'll go back on this gen. See if we can't uh, finish it. Oh, wow, that regressed so far. Please don't be a skirt hook. Yeah. It's coming. We got two people on gens again. We did snuff the boon, so we're going to have to find another one of those at some point. Seems like the Jill got back on the gen that we were, we were working on before. All right, other Hattie is being chased. We got Feng on a, uh, a chest. Nice. I don't want her to die. Oh, man. Damn. Wish I brought a flashlight. Ah, the one of the few times that I'm in a position to be able to actually do something about it. Get down over here. Run away from the gin. On main muscle, you got this.
Oh no. Damn it, he saw me. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where was the other gate? I think the gates are like that way, right? They're all that way. screwed. There's no way I get this. Right? Oh my god. <laughs> it's right there. He hit the door with his, his little harpoon. Alright, we got out. Uh, I'll take it over a, a 4k for the killer. But, uh, alright. Well, uh, it's unfortunate we didn't get more people out, but we'll move on. Okay, we have arrived at Suffocation Pit. Right next to a gen. So everything's gonna work out great. feeling okay we're not the first one caught it's Meg so we're golden oh it's both Megs she's chasing both Megs at the same time oh no come on other Meg get out of there don't also be downed Oh, it's a ghost face. You're so d Oh, no. Uh, I think Pineapple Pup is off her gen so that she can go help that person survive. Oh, good. Surgic Pain Resonance. Oh no, Pineapple Pup is up. Or got Loki up. Don't you take your chances. What are you doing? Why would you do this? Somebody was right there. Ugh. Lord. Uh-oh. 
a killer there. In danger. Probably looking for a skirt check, right? Or where'd he go? being chased. Thank goodness. Where is it? Chasing the other person. Ah, oh, crap. Nope. Gotcha. Why are you here? Please leave. What are you doing? Okay. Got him. I'm gonna lead him away from the rest of the team. Yep, he's still following me. Oh, he got me that time. That should have bought them enough time to finish that other gen at least. Don't do it right now. Wait for him to leave. Please. Please give it a little bit of time. Yes. Yes, Bunny Fang. You know. You know how this goes. Yes, let's fly. This way. He's chasing pineapple pup right now. Right, we're gonna go over here. Is there... I, this gen's done, right? Somebody got that one perfect. Someone got that gen done over there. 
Is there another gen over here? Or are they all on the other side now? Oh, there's a gen right here. Alright. Let's work on this one. Someone's over there on that one, too. We are on three different gens right now. I like these odds. progressed on the gen so maybe I go yeah I'm gonna go oh wait somebody else got off the gen too does that mean they're going okay I think they're going for the save He's running Jolt, too. He's coming after me. He's actually committing. No, he's going back. Okay. What was that? That was over here? Yes. Okay. What, are you leaving? Yourself. That's good. Did the other person get out? Was that three? Someone did bring a hatch offering. I'm wondering if maybe they're going to try to go for a hatch to escape. Uh, let's take a look. Nope, she's just waiting at the exit gate for no reason. All right. Uh, let's see what he was running. We knew Pain Resonance. Okay, Lethal Pursuer. That's why they were able to find people so quickly at the start. Surveillance and Jolt. Uh, yeah, okay. No Mori. So there's that. Or he had a Mori, but didn't Mori anybody. And an Eerie add-on. Okay, cool. Good games, we'll move on. Alright, here we are. Mount Orman Resort. And, uh, just because of the opening tooltips on the menu, I know that we are facing the Skull Merchant. Um, which is the new killer in Dead by Daylight, so that should be pretty fun. Um, we'll see how it goes. She's running Corrupt Intervention, so a bunch of gens are blocked. Lots of people are running around. That's one of the new survivors right there. You can see a drone off in the distance right there. Let's go ahead and bless this. Oh, wow. I guess we're going to put two totems right next to each other. <laughs> it's fine. Somebody is inside the radius of a drone. So there's the, one of the drones, right? So it's scanning the area trying to find a survivor. Where's the barrier? Okay, it's right there. So I should be theoretically able to run in here between laser sweeps and hack the drone. 
Down, 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 down. Right. All right, so now I have a tracking device on me, so she she's pro she can use it to find me if she wants to. Oh, someone's exposed, almost. So the three dots around my portrait indicate the battery that's left on this tracking claw that's installed on me. So I can remove it once once it's it's depleted. Oh, so she was exposed because she was in the uh, area for too long. All right, so now I can remove it. It's like a little mini game. Okay. Okay, so she's been pulled off the hook. It's good. We want to try and uh, disable this drone that's on top of a gen. She's right there, though. We don't want to get caught in her little tracking sweep. Oh, she's here. Okay. So we don't have to worry about being, uh... What you call it? Oh, we're hit. Uh, one hit downable, because we were already injured, so it didn't matter. Okay, so we got people on gens. So it's really good. We're gonna get another one done pretty soon. And her walk is like really hippie. <laughs> Sways quite a bit. All right, so I think his name is Renato. Is the new uh, male survivor. And so he's tracking beacon is able to be removed. Oh, uh, they pressured her off the gen. Okay. We're going to go for the save as soon as we heal. I just don't want to run over there and then be right next to the killer. Because she can she can hide her terror radius, too, a little bit. Um, which is, you know, problematic in its own way. Oh, God. All right, well, she's dead. Busy. Oh, she picked up. Damn. Oh, there's one survivor did. What is this drone scanning? Does it have? It's just this area. It's not like one of the one of the gens. Okay, I have to get in there between sweeps. All right, there we go. good is 
you gonna go pick him up? This is not going great for us. <laughs> Pick it. Come on, go kick it. Man. She's okay. So she's guarding her gen. I mean, you know. This is kind of what she excels at, right? You can't really be mad at the player for playing. Oh, God, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. I know I have a tracking. My, my tracking beacon uh, re energized itself because I went inside of a drone. I should have taken it off when I had a chance. Oh god, he's being chased. Okay, we gotta go save the other person now. We've all, we've all but lost this game, for sure, right? Like, there's no way- I don't think there's a way we can actually do this. Numerically speaking. Like, he's downed right now. Alright. Shoot. Well, she was able to actually see me on the uh, the radar when she she like pulled it out the little iPad. Um, so she knew I was coming, which is unfortunate because I, I was trying to get him within range to uh, reassure her, but uh, it's not it didn't work out. All right, well, the, uh, you know, I guess people maybe aren't used to playing against her yet, which makes sense. She just came out, so uh, it is what it is. But that is end of game. Let's see what she was running in terms of perks. I'm curious what add-ons, too, to be honest. Uh, so she was running Bamboozle, Sloppy Butcher, which I we saw, uh, Corrupter Invention, which we saw at the start, and Call of Brine. She didn't really stop to kick any gens. She didn't really have to. She was kind of beating us pretty badly. So um, this is the symbol that I kept seeing come up when I, the Claw Trap was on me. So survivors with the Claw Trap destroy pallets when fast vaulting them. Claw Traps with an empty battery gauge are destroyed when fast vaulting a pallet. Okay. Wait, so it's a brown add-on that basically gives you, um, what's that, what's that perk called? The, uh, ah, oh, what is it called? The one from, uh, Dredge, where if you get hit, uh, and you vault a pallet, it breaks it. So it basically gives you a free version of that perk. If you have a claw trap on you, that's, I mean, for a brown out on, is that, is that too strong? I don't know. Uh, and it increases the battery life for claw traps by 12%. So that's why it felt like it was taking too long to, to deplete its battery. I mean, this combination of the two would, uh, definitely make pallets less of an issue if people are disabling your drones, which I don't mean, I don't know if the, what the, uh, what the strategy is behind that, whether or not it's good to disable them or not, but, um, Anyway, okay, well, we'll move on. All right, that's going to be it for the game today, guys. A lot of fun, and we at least got to play against the new killer uh, one time. It didn't go very well, uh, but I, I don't know whether or not that is an indication that this killer is really good against uh, solo queue, or if people just aren't used to playing with her yet, or maybe some kind of combination of both. So um, nevertheless, it was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you for staying tuned. And I will catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Oh, what the fuck?